Good afternoon. So still in the topic Philippine art history and we are heading to modern era. We are now going to know what are the different uh, paintings, what are the different arts during this period, okay? So modern era in the Philippine art began after the World War II, okay? And it is said that the modern art emerged in the late 19th century and early 20th century and it was characterized by a shift from a traditional styles to a more abstract, more experimental approach to creating artwork. And Victorio Idades was the most well-known proponent of modern art painting. So at first, his work were initially rejected and misunderstood, but later on, his modernist sensibility was shared by several artists. Okay, and in this era also, uh, artists explored various mediums, techniques, and themes that were at that time considered new. Okay, and uh, modern era represents neorealism. Okay, so modern artists do not aim to copy and idealize reality. Instead, they change colors. Okay, so please observe the paintings here below. They change colors, flatten the picture instead of creating illusions of depth. Okay, nearness and farness. And also abstraction. So neorealism, it represents neorealism and it also represents abstraction. Okay. So looking at the paintings here below, uh, abstraction is, we can understand abstraction as uh, non-representational. Okay. So when we say uh, non-representational, Okay, so where is our slide? Okay, when we say non-representational, uh, this refers to art that does not attempt to represent or reference reality. Okay, hindi masyadong, hindi masyadong obvious ano yung ibig sabihin sa painting na yun. Okay, so that art may simply depict uh, shapes, there is color, there is lines, but may also express things that are not visible, okay? Halimbawa dito yung emotions or your feelings, okay? Uh, those were considered uh, non-representational art, okay? And also non-objective, okay? Here, uh, it is also referred to as non-objective. So, when we say non-objective art, this employs the use of bright colors, clean, uh, crisp edges, flat planes, geometric forms, and simplified dimensions. Okay. And then now we are going to the famous arts during the modern era. Okay. So these were the famous neorealist artists. Number one is Manan Sala. Okay. Uh, his painting, The Beggars in 1952 and The Tuba Drinkers in 1954. Okay, so this, The Beggars, this artwork depicts the begging of the people, especially the poor, to the government of the country. Okay, and this second painting, also the famous during the modern era, the tuba drinkers. So the artwork is about local tuba drinkers in the traditional Nipa house. Okay, as you can see here, there were people and there were men drinking and while the woman here is serving the tuba. Okay, and a bit of his uh, background, Vicente Manansala are described as visions of reality, tittering on the edge of abstraction. Okay, and now we go to Ligaspi. All right, also uh, neorealist artist, uh, he painted the gadgets too in 1949. Okay, this one. Okay, so this uh, this is his painting and this is Ligaspi, okay? It depicts the fusing of men because this time, this is a time of industrialization, the age of industrialization, okay? Another is Ocampo, okay? The contrast and the genesis. Okay, as you can see, no, hindi masyadong at looking at at first sight of this art, hindi mo masyadong maintindihan, but then there is a dip meaning of it, okay? 
Next is the art of Arturo Luz, the street musicians in 1952 here. Okay. And another is, okay, so we are done with the paintings, the famous paintings during the modern era. And now we are in the uh, architecture. Okay, so please observe here the Church of Holy Sacrifice was built in 1955. Okay, so this was his first major uh, architectural uh, work of architect Leandro Loxin. Okay, he chose the round plan. Okay, as you can see the, the roof, okay, the round plan as the most suited for giving the congregation a sense of participation in the mass. Okay, and we also have here the, uh, the Church of the Risen Lord. Okay, this one, look at the style of the building, okay? So the Church of the Risen Lord was designed to have an exterior shape similar to a parabola. Okay, so this kind of architectural design symbolizes the belief that there are imperfections outside the Christian world and all of our aspirations to be perfect are useless. Okay, so this was the story behind the, the design of the uh, architecture. Okay, and now here in the chapel of St. Joseph the Worker. Okay, look at the design of the building. Okay, so the architect, Raymond, designed the church to be earthquake-proof. Okay, so since the Philippines now, during those times, uh, until now, the Philippines is in the earthquake belt. So, so the St. Joseph, the worker chapel, is made up of two sections, the nave and the tower. They are connected by movable beams holding the building up well, even during earthquakes, okay? All right, so this would be all for my presentation for today. These were the notable and the famous works, artworks during the modern era. Okay, so I hope you get something in here that will be, that is useful to your studies. Thank you so much for listening and good afternoon once again.